beautiful people, it's Rachel. I've been I have been taking a little bit of a break. I haven't filmed in a little bit of time. Things happened, my birthday came, things nothing bad. Just kind of took a sabbatical. So let's just get jumped into it. I am going to be filming my full face of cargo. Um we did talk about that a while back, and I have I have had this stuff, but like I said life happened. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to show you the things that I have and things that I don't have and then we'll start to, to play around. So let's start with, I did get this um, foundation. Uh, on their website they don't have a very big selection of things in general and um, so I just got what I could and basically what I needed. So I got this um, foundation oil free uh this is in the shade i have no idea maybe it's on the box 10 on the box so i got this foundation so i have this face palette this is the highlighter palette and it has a little bit of bronzers in it then i have the blush that i already had this is like their their um tin blushes and it's actually it's in the shade Bali. Let's go ahead and open it. It's a really pretty blush. And then I have this face. This is the eye palette that I have and then I already had this like emerald one. It's called Emerald City. It's pretty. And then I got this one also a newer one. This one came with a brush. I believe the other one did too, but I'm not sure what happened to that brush. It probably just got set aside. But here is a face, an eye brush. And then I got this foundation brush, which I'm actually kind of pleased with the texture and the density. It's really, really soft. I've actually used it one time before just to kind of feel it out. And then I got a lip. It's called a lip, a gel lip color. Uh, the color's pretty. The packaging is kind of, um, cheap, if I should say. Um, it's just really kind of plasticky, but it has a nice color to it. It's not a bad, um, it doesn't have, like, a scent or anything, so it's not a bad lip product at all, but it is rather cheap packaging. And then uh, I got an eyeliner. This is a swimmable eyeliner, and this is in P Perfy P Beach. I'm not really sure, but it's a nice kind of purpley um, eggplant color. It's very, it's very dark. It's almost kind of a charcoal color. And then I got a cream shadow because I'm a sh fan of cream shadows. This is in like a taupe color. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I have not ever tested this foundation out. Look, you can kind of see how flimsy and cheap, how, <laughs> not flimsy, but really uh, not very much product you get. But in the same sense, it's like really less packaging, which is kind of good, but it kind of feels like it's like a, a refill to something. So those are my thoughts on that foundation. So let's go ahead and try it on so we can develop more thoughts. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit here on the back of my hand. This seems like a really, really light shade. Um, oh yeah, you can see it's really, really light. So let's just kind of see if a lot goes a long way. Um, we'll just blend it. I probably got way too much on my hand here. As a matter of fact, I believe I know I did. I'm just kind of taking it and then maybe we can add a little bit more of a, I feel like I've done this before. So I've done this before with when I did a full face of NYX, which I will link that video. Um, I always think that I'm lighter than I am and I'm like, I can just get like the second to lightest shade, but Apparently I have a little bit more olive tone to my skin, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's not that like, yeah, it is kind of, 
ghostly, isn't it? And I still have a ton left. So I'm going to just kind of wipe off what I have on the back of my hand and go from there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take, they, I did not get a concealer, they had them, but their shade, shade selection was very, very limited, if any, they, like some of them only had one. So I'm going to take some of this um, Pacifica concealer and just kind of apply it in some areas, almost to kind of give some life back to my skin, but also conceal, and then we'll do some bronzing. Uh, We'll do some contour and bronzing. I'm going to try to use as much of cargo products as I possibly can. I almost feel like if we're going to cover this foundation, it almost seems useless. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could ever, maybe as summer month, the winter months are coming, I could probably use that more, but I just don't think that I could ever use that foundation on its own, you know? You know how you can use like a whole foundation and it's just like perfect? I just don't know. All right, so our complexion doesn't look like that bad, but I do want to like give some life back to my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this highlighter palette, which has a little bit of a bronzing, bronzer in it. I'm gonna take use this one, but I'm also going to pair it with this bronzer right here. Um, I'm not sure how to say it, how to say this brand, so I'm not going to try. So I'm going to take this dual fiber brush and just go in with the contour, and then I'll use this for the bronzer as well. Just kind of contour, but I'm also going to kind of go all over with it. I love this contour. I believe it came in a boxy charm. I still haven't gotten my boxy charm for October. Um, I don't know if. I feel like sometimes it just takes longer than other times. I don't know. So I'm gonna go in with this sun kissed shade right here and kind of go on the actual cheeks with it, and then we'll kind of put blush on top of it so it'll be like a sun kissed peaky tone. I feel like when I say peaky, it's like it goes in my nasal, it's very nasally. <laughs> I'm really just going in lightly. But I kind of like that idea of a, like a wintry kind of windblown kind of cheek almost. On my nose and then just take a little bit down the forehead just a bit. And we'll jump back into that palette in a little bit, but I just kind of wanted to finish the complexion a bit, and I kind of like what's happening. Okay. All right, while that is setting, let's go ahead and decide what palette we're going to use. I'm not going to use this one because I've already done a video on this. If you want to see a video with this for, like, the holidays, because it is pretty holiday-esque, I can. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below if you want to see a thing with that. But I think I'm going to incorporate both of these palettes. Um, just because look at how beautiful that palette is. That just looks so pretty. And it's kind of really up my alley. I love those shades. And I feel like these guys will complement each other well. So I'm going to try to use this brush as much as I can. Uh, and then go in with the other ones when we need to. So I'm going to take this shade right here from this palette. The packaging on this palette here is not great, but I do think that the shadows from swatching them are going to be pretty great. So let's zoom in on the eyes just a little bit. So far so good. That shade is working pretty well. It's not super pigmented, but like I've said in the past, super pigmented shades are not for everybody, um, especially if you're just a beginner. Super pigmented shades can be quite intimidating. So, so far this palette is actually pretty beautiful. I'm gonna go in with this shade, it's called Daydream. It's kind of lighter than the one we just did, but it will add a different tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this. I haven't touched this palette yet, so. 
All right, so I wanna darken up the outer corner just a little bit, and I'm not sure, I'm thinking I'm gonna take this shade because I feel like that one will be a little bit too stark. So I'm gonna take this one. And this is the other end of the cargo brush. It's actually not a bad brush at all. And it's not, it's pretty soft. Not the softest brush, but it's not going to make my eyes, it doesn't, it's not pokey. So I'm gonna just take this on the outer corner and kind of blend it through. Actually, actually I kind of want to play with the cream shadow. So I'm going to take my brush and just kind of blend that through. We'll put a little bit on the other side just to kind of match it. But I kind of want to blend this cream shadow through in the outer corner because that would actually do exactly what I want it to do and we could put that other color on top of it. So this um, cream shadow is in the shade Sandy Bay and it's kind of, it's very, it's a matte shade so that's actually really unique for a cream shadow. So I'm going to take that and then get Maybe like a denser, I want to use the brush that it came with, but I don't really want to. So I'm going to take this one. This is a Luxie brush. It's like a nice soft, not soft, but small hole. And just kind of pull this through. I'm going to pat it so it doesn't pick up anything that I don't want it to. Just pat it so it doesn't crease. I don't really know. But I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here. It's really pretty. Kind of has a sparkle to it. And it's kind of in the shade, the same shade range as the cream shadow. Got an itch on our nose. And I'm going to kind of place this over the top of the cream shadow. I think that that could be really, really pretty. And then I'm going to kind of smoke it out this way. Once we've packed it on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that same shade and I'm going to take the bigger end and then blend it through the crease. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the big fluffy end, I guess is what it would be called. I'm going to go into Daydream again and go over the um, edge of that and then we'll move on. All right, for our, eye, for our lids, for a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to take She Shell. This is a pretty shade. I'm liking this palette. I'm liking it. It's not too shabby, I'll say. So, as we talk about that emerald palette, what kind of holiday looks should we be doing? Do we want some more reds, greens, golds, brown and gold? That would be really pretty. So, if there's anything that you guys have in mind or would like to see, Go ahead and leave me a comment so that I can start doing those because I, maybe we'll just do whatever I liked. It's funner, it's not a word, but I like that to be a word. It's funner for me to, to do things that I've requested because it's just like more engagement is really great. So if you request something, I would love, I, f it's like, more exciting for me to do it than if I were just to be like, pull it out of a hat, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take wafer right here and I'm gonna do that on my brow bone. And then I will put on the eyeliner and we should see how that goes. The question will be, of how hard this is to take off. <laughs> also, they had brow products, but like I said, um, the shades that I needed were sold out when I was purchasing, so um, that's good. <laughs> All right, so that is what we have going on there. So I do kind of want to try to smudge the eyeliner just a bit to see like the playability with it. And uh, I'm gonna take this liner and let's go. My mirror's backwards. <laughs> let's go in with this. It's 
It's really, really creamy, but I don't know the playability with it being that it's one of their swimmable products, which um, it's not a bad thing that I can't move it because, I mean, that's their whole premise is for it to be... Okay, so it's not super smudge proof. That's good for them. Um, and it's not smudge proof really at all, but you can kind of like blend your eyeshadow over the top of it to kind of make it less harsh. So like I um, said before, they didn't have any mascara. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use the one that I have, which is Tarte Big Ego. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, the shade Daydream, because like I said, it's one of my fervorts. It's my fervorts. I don't even know what I just said to ignore that. And just smudge this on the lower lash line. Smudge it, blend it, whatever you like. Whatever you do. You do you, honey. Alright. So let's move on to our face lay. I'm going to go ahead with our blush and just dust off the same brush that we used to contour with. It's actually looking pretty good, our little cheeks going on there. For our brows, I'm just going to take my e.l.f. brow gel just to make it simple. Uh, you do even the e.l.f. pencil. And let's do some highlighter because we love it. Highlighter. And I'm going to take the color Radiant. Maybe we'll mix the two. Just mix them. Mix them, mix them. Mix them, mix them, mix them. And then I'm going to take that same brush to kind of mellow it down a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my the lipstick and I'm gonna apply just a little bit. And then blend those friends together. All right, so that was our full face of cargo. Now I would say this brand used to be a lot bigger and a lot more um, prevalent than it is now. And maybe they're just catering to a different market such as like this with like the swimmable things and such like that. But uh, I liked everything that I used. Uh, maybe the foundation was just too light, but that's totally um, like my fault, so. I like the eye look that look, I think it came out really beautifully. Um, but li like I said, comment any of your thoughts down below. Uh, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.